All right. Every single week, Lady Ada and DigiKey bring you the great search. This is where Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to use the DigiKey site. This segment's brought to you by DigiKey. Thank you, DigiKey. Lady Ada, what is the great search this week? I'm glad you asked. This week, we just talked about designing some uh, Cherry MX compatible switch projects. I'm working on this Neo Key prototype. And uh, I want to get started quickly. And so uh, to make sure that this stuff all works with Cherry MX switches, I was like, oh, I should just pick up a couple of Cherry MX switches. You know, I'm going to put in a DigiKey order tomorrow. I'll just toss in some Cherry MX switches. And I realized, like, hey, I should show people you can get Cherry MX switches from DigiKey. You don't have to, like, go to a special keyboard site. Support your local keyboard site, but you can also just add a couple to your DigiKey order. You can also get sockets, and I'll, um, I'll show those off as well. So, um, you know, this... this Search in particular is not uh, going to be that exciting because you just type in Cherry MX, and uh, I just searched. You for found it. In style. yeah, there's kind of like it's it. Um, so there's a couple of different switches, and um, here's the options you have in stock. And you're probably like, what's the difference between these? Um, well, some of them have like a little panel mount lip. It looks like, um, but there's basically the clicky type and the non-clicky type, and blue is clicky so if you um go over here you can even see audible click is the um is the type for the blues so the blue stem and then um black are linear and they have a lot in stock and um what i also thought was cool is they have uh oops they have the uh, 3d the, the 360 view so you can like this is kind of neat you can like rotate this around so you can see the bottom. They a really nice uh, 3D model. So um, for the, oh, it's interesting. This has, you can even see there's a little marking on the bottom that's like for the diode. Uh, and then uh, nice mechanical um, diagrams. I will say like not all keys have really good mechanical diagrams. Uh, the Cherry MXs do. Uh, there's also, like I said, the blue, blue type. Um, so for these, they're, they're, they, they have a clicking sound and you can like pick them up, you know, they're basically like 70 cents a piece. Um, and you can kind of get like tens of thousands immediately. So if you just need a lot of cherry mix, which is, and they're like genuine cherries, uh, you are super set. Another thing I saw while I was looking for switches is people on some like keyboard reddits talking about sockets for these. Um, so you can actually, you know, instead of soldering in the pins directly, you can solder in these like ultra slim Milmax sockets and then use those as, you know, mechanical sockets to um, place and replace your keys. So if you start with Cherry MX blacks and then you're like, now it turns out I want blues or vice versa. You like the clicky, you don't like the clicky. Um, so the, there are two series you want to look for. It's the Milmax um 7305s and the 73 oh hold on i told you mil max 7305 that's weird let me try the, the main search mil max 7305 oh i can't type fourth times a charm max 7305 Why is it taking me this LED? Weird. Okay. Anyways, maybe because I don't have a dash. Um, but the 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 Milmax. So you know they they're not designed for use with um, the uh, Cherry MXs, but they work great. So these the seventy three oh five series are the gold uh, plate ones. They're going to be a little bit more expensive. And then there's the O three oh fives, and those are the tin plate. Um, some people really want the gold plate, you know, I get it. Um, let me try, if you just go to terminals, pin receptacles, and I search for Milmax, and then under series, I'll select 7305, and then 03, oh my goodness, there are so many pins, 0305. Um, they're really similar, but yeah, one's, one's gold and one's tin. You'll pay more for the gold. 
Um, and then you can get different contact finish thickness. I don't think you really need more than, than 10 uh, micro inches. But oh, let me see what's available. So in stock, you can get the 7305. Let me see this one. Oh, they actually both gold finish. Oh, one is, hmm. Oh, they're different lengths. So there's ones that are a little bit longer. Um, but this is the one that I pretty much saw everyone linking to. So if you're going to pick up the Cherry MX switches and you want to hot swap them, um, pick up also the 7305-0-1515-472710 or the DigiKey button, which is much shorter. It's the ED1039 ND uh, from Milmax. Um, you'll need two of these per switch, um, but the good news is you don't have to change the footprint that much. I think you just want to make the hole, like the hole is just a little bit larger. Um, but this looks like, let's look at the data sheet. Let's see if that downloaded, no. Oh no, it's probably gonna have my, my app blocker. Um, But if you, sorry, for the, um, for the inner diameter, you'll just want to make sure that when you're using these with your switches, that they're, this, the switch pins have to be square. They can't be rectangular. So for example, like uh, Kale and other switches won't fit as well because these, if you look, they're like, they really need to be like a square pin um, connector. But for Cherry MX switches, apparently they work really great. So those are my two recommendations. Uh, you know, I, I basically was looking for these anyways to um, put together my keypad design. So I'm going to pick up some of these. I'm going to try out um, these uh, quick sockets. Um, you do have to hand place them, but then you can solder them in place. And a lot of people use these for existing keyboards that they want to turn into hot swap keyboards. And that's my great search. All right.